In this tutorial, I will show you how you can use OpenStack in TriStack. So, to start, I have to go x86 dot TriStack dot org. To start working with TriStack, you have to log in before in Facebook site. So I have already logged in in Facebook so I can click the button login with Facebook okay now you can use the feature of all open stack from this site try stack dot what to install any instance, first I have to configure the network version. So click in the networks. Okay, there is a button create network. Clicking in this button. Uh, you have to type the name of your network. I am typing private private net. Next, you have to give a name for the subnet. I am typing private subnet. Okay, next you have to choose any network address. I am typing dot one six eight dot one two two dot one slash twenty five. This network address you can choose by your own any address you like. Next, now uh, this option has to be checked. Enable DACP and uh, type the DNS name servers. I'm typing here wait point eight point eight point eight and eight point eight point four point four. Okay then create the network okay my private network is already established our next step is to create a router which will connect with the public network create router give a name for the router router Select public external network and create route. Now click on the router link and uh, then interface tab. Here you have to create a interface, add interface. From the drop down, uh, you have to choose the previously created private net or private network okay this field is optional and adding the interface okay our new interface is already created network is already created and you, now you can see the current network topology So this is the existing network topology. If you want to see it by level, then this is our public network, this is our router and our private name. And now I will create an instance. Before creating instance, you have to change the access and security rules. I am clicking here access and security option this is our default security now I will create new security group for my new instance which will be used as a web server 
I am keeping the name for my new security group is server security group I will tag the description server security group okay a new security group is created now I will add required rule for my server these two rules are existing now I will I will create new rules so click on the add rules button then this dialog box will appear choose all ICMP then add next rule choose all ICMP and from here keep press add next rule choose HTTP add next rule choose HTTPS add next SSH I will explain later why I am uh, adding these rules okay okay the required rule for creating new instance is already established next step is to create instance okay launch new instance Type your instance name my web server. Choose the size A1 small, and this selecting this size means it will uh, use 20 GB road disk, 2 MB RAM, total disk 20 GB. In try sticks you can create maximum three instances and I am creating here my first instance and uh, you can use maximum 8 GB RAM. Next tab access and security group. This is a, the default group and this one we have created before. no key pair is established yet so I will create a new key pair from here my key keep the name of the key pair and this option public key for this you have to download the putty generator from where you can generate the public key okay I have already uh, downloaded the putty generator uh, you can download it from uh, internet very easily okay my putty generator is here oh, where is it this one okay this is the putty generator software now you can generate the new key for your instance 
you have to move the mouse here to do it faster okay our public key is created I am just copying this portion and paste here import key pair okay our new key pair is created next step networking which already chosen private net and uh, which I have already created before now I can launch my new instance one thing you have to store your private key to get connected with with the instance so save private key yes my private key okay our key is set remember the location okay now uh, you have to choose the boot source of your instance I'm choosing boot from image now uh, here I'm selecting CentOS CentOS 7 okay and now launch okay your new instance is creating and this is your private IP not public IP so now your new instance is running this is private IP and this is your instance names and running sent OS 7 in the next tutorial I will show you how you can connect with your instance with instance with ACI client. So goodbye for now.